Yo, what's up dudes? How you guys doing, man? Hope you guys are having a good day today. Today we're gonna be doing a video. I think I'm just gonna end up titling this video something along the lines of um why I don't play nurse. I feel like I'm just gonna play a couple nurse games here on stream and show you guys the reason why you probably won't be seeing much nurse gameplay aside from this on my channel. I know that already on this channel we had the blended invasion video where I nursed some blendettes, but like that's kind of different because, like, I have a, a deep, seething hatred for Blendettes, so of course I'm going to use Nurse against them. But, but in general, Nurse is just insane. She's just nuts. She's just absolutely insane in strength. It's it's completely ridiculous, to be quite frank. Um, and games end up just being a complete joke. You just kill everyone, and it's not really a challenge at all. And I don't really find it fun. So, to show you, I'm going to demonstrate it by playing a couple games of Nurse. So, let's go see. I also just kind of want to throw in there, too, that uh, for this video, keep in mind that we're at rank 2, basically at rank 1. I must have de-pipped or something from rank 1. I must have just had, like, a rough game or something. I don't know. So, we're basically at rank 1, 2 as well. And also, keep in mind that I'm not really running anything crazy. I'm not running, like, Ruin or Noed or any perks that are generally, like, oppressive to play against. And I'm also not even running any add-ons for this. I'm going completely add-onless. No three blinks, no long blinks, nothing crazy. I'm just gonna burn a cake so we get some extra blood points, and that's it. Okay, suffocation pit. I feel like I'm getting this all the time whenever I'm recording for YouTube. I feel like every single time I hop on to play some games for a YouTube video, it's just like, what's that? Suffocation pit? Is that what you wanted? And I'm like, yeah, sure, dude. Sure. Sounds good. Okay, so... Another thing I want to say real quick is that I haven't played DVD in like three days because my wife's birthday was yesterday and we've just been kind of chilling and enjoying ourselves. And on top of that, I play Nurse maybe like once a month? Maybe once every couple weeks? So like, first off, I'm not a Nurse player. Second off, I'm kind of rusty. And even with that being said, I still feel pretty confident in this. Because again, Nurse is just such a ridiculous killer. I can literally be sitting here talking. I can be mid-conversation talking and playing, and I'm just blinking right on top of people and killing them. And it's just like, there's like nothing they can do about it. It's completely insane. Okay, there's no, there was no, um, um, auras on barbecue, and I think I saw some scratch marks over here, so I think they're over here. We're gonna head over yonder way. Hi, how's it going? Is she just gonna bomb that hook? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She just gave me a ticket to Slug. Come on down to Slug Town. Come on down, Nia. Population, you and Jeff. You guys are the only two in Slug Town. But I hope you guys are enjoying your stay. This guy might have decisive strikes, so we're not going to mess with him. Still no auras on barbecue. Still nothing on barbecue. Wow. Either they're all here chilling, or they're chilling in lockers. I don't know. No, they're here chilling. They are definitely here chilling. All right, we're gonna head back. It might be worth it to just pick this guy up and get DS'd, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go for these hits instead. That was kind of a brave, uh, brave blink. We were just trying to get closer, but I think he doubled back. What did he do? Did he get in this locker? Oh, <gasps> he has a head on. I was about to say, I think he was getting in that locker. But I wasn't sure that he had on played me. I don't know who this guy is, but I love him. I'm going to be honest. I love this guy. Okay. I, I like him less now that he's laggy. Okay. We're going to down this guy because he's injured and healing over here. Okay. He just got he just got healed. It's all right. Though. We're, we're going to commit to him because we already hit him once. So first blink, you get a little bit close. Second blink, you just get exact and then you hit him. That's, that's nurse right there. That's nurse. You see somebody, you use your first blink to get close. Your second blink gets you right on top of them, and then you down them every time. This guy might have DS, but I don't really have anything else to do right now, so we might as well pick him up. If we get DS, whatever. And we didn't get DS, so nice. Gonna chuck him up here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, diggity, boom, boom. There's a guy down there, but we know that there's at least two people down here. Between the Dwight and the Jeff, there's some people down here for sure. They're definitely down here chilling. She DC'd slash killed herself on hook. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing about Nurse. Now that I can get back to kind of like talking some more. Whispers is still going off here. Now that I can get back to like talking some more. Basically, like, what, what Nurse is just so ridiculous because if you find a survivor, and you're a good nurse anyway, like if you're like a pretty good nurse, like if you know what you're doing, keep in mind, again, I play this killer very rarely. I am not a nurse main by any means. I wouldn't even really consider myself a nurse player. 
I just know how to play her. Okay, these guys are hiding a lot. So we're just gonna kick this gen and then leave. Um, so like, I'm not even a nurse main. I just play her every once in a while. And I just like know how to play her. And it's just insane. Like anybody that I see, any survivor that I see, you just like, if you can get vision on them and like, as long as you can keep vision on them, basically, it's just like a free down. It's absolutely insane. Like this Jeff, he's screwed. He's completely done for. There's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do to help buy himself time. He's just 100% done. Like if he's lucky, he can maybe make me mess up a series of blinks, maybe. Or like here he can use balance landing. But like generally speaking, he's done though. See, he, he got pretty far with balance landing. So he, he was able to make me mess up like one series of blinks. But like generally speaking, if you get like vision of someone and unless they have like an exhaustion perk ready, you basically just kill them. You basically just kill them. It's pretty nuts. And see, the reason why I play killer, the reason why I have so much fun as killer, the reason why I enjoy Billy so much and enjoy these killers so much. Okay, well, see, now I'm trash. I'm, I'm talking too much and now I'm trash. The reason why I enjoy killers like Billy so much and pretty much every other killer in the game that isn't nurse is because you actually have to, you know, outsmart people. You have to like really outsmart them and outplay them to get hits, right? Like as Billy or, you know, as, as pretty much anyone that isn't nurse or spirit, you know, it's, 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 it's all about like the mind game. It's all about predicting them, taking advantage of their mistakes, you know. Can I not get out of here? Let me out. Thank you. I think I tried to blink onto the logs, which is impossible. It's all about taking advantage of mistakes and like, you know, outplaying the person. Whereas like nurse is literally just like, what is wrong with my blinks right now? Why do I feel like I couldn't blink very far right there? Nurse is literally just like blink on their face. It's like blink on their face, hit them, rinse, repeat. Like there's no real like getting away from nurse. Assuming you're good with her blinks. Like I'm even super rusty right now. I've messed up a bunch of blinks. And even with me being super rusty, I am just like, there's nothing they can do. Like, it's it's insane. Okay, come here, buddy. Like, I'm messing up quite a bit this game, keep in mind. I, I actually, like, this is like a bad nurse game. I am messing up a lot of blinks. But they're still just like, what like what, what, what can they even do? The only thing you can really do is hide. I don't know, let's see if you got DS, buddy. This is like the second time I've, I've, I've hit you off on hook. Let's see if you got DS. If you don't have DS, you're dead and we can just move on with our lives. Okay, you're dead. Cool. We can move on with our lives now. This last dude might get hatched or something. I don't know. Ooh, was that a Kobe? Ooh. Hey. <laughs> ah, nice Kobe. Too bad I'm nurse. Do you have decisive strike? Let's find out. Does anybody here have decisive strike? This is like the third time I was... None of these guys have DS. If any of these guys had DS, I could have been DS, but no, nobody does. Also, this Dwight is the only one that's left. I don't know where he is. He did have head on, so for all I know, he might be chilling in a locker in here trying to head on me. I don't know. Um, but... <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know... <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, my God. I didn't actually think he was going to be in there. Like, I had a feeling, okay? Like, I, I was thinking, like, if I was playing Survivor and I wanted to head on me, I would go to this locker for sure. I would 100 million percent go to this locker. So, that is so hilarious that I just predicted that. Wow. Anyway, yeah, this is like typical nurse game. This was even me playing kind of badly. No add-ons, nothing. Just a few tracking perks on nurse to help me find the people that are hiding. And, yeah. W w welcome to Nurse Games 101. This is basically how it all goes. All right, so for this next one, um, we're gonna play nurse again, but I actually wanna try something. I, I've had a, a nurse player that I know tell me that this new ghost face perk, I'm all ears, is actually supposedly pretty insane on this killer. So I'm gonna take off nurse's calling. Even though nurse's calling is such a good perk and I hate to take it off. I'm gonna take it off for I'm all ears and we'll see how this plays out. I hear that this is absolutely insane. It does have a cooldown of 40 seconds, but it makes it so that during the six seconds, there's really nothing they can do to juke you. Because, okay, if you guys don't know, the biggest counterplay to Nurse is basically breaking line of sight and then trying to be unpredictable, right? 
So this makes it so that if they vault something and then try to break line of sight, they can't really be unpredictable because you literally see them for six seconds. So I'm really curious how, how this will play out. We'll put on another cake. Um, you know what? I'll show you guys good old, good old Omega Blink too. Why not? Okay, so to explain to you what Omega Blink is, it is the combination of both the range add-ons, which are the Ataxic and the, the Pinecone. Um, what's interesting about these add-ons is that they increase your range, and then their downfall is that they decrease your accuracy. But the thing is, is that you can't really decrease the accuracy of a straight line, because like you don't blink left or right ever, and it doesn't make you go left or right. So the, the downside doesn't really appear to do anything, as far as I can tell. I have not noticed ever any kind of a significant thing from decreased from decreased accuracy. So I don't know, really know what they do. Um, the increased the increased range, however, increases a lot of things. Not only does it increase your range, but it doesn't mess with any of the other stats of the blink. So basically, you get more range, but the charge time that it takes to get that range is still the exact same, as well as the travel time that it takes from getting point A to point B. So, assuming that you go a full a full distance blink, if you max charge, you actually go further, but it takes the same amount of ch uh, charge time, and you also travel the same speed. But what that means is that if you go the previous max range, for instance, say like the original max range is 20 and then the add-ons take you to 30. That's not the real numbers, but let's just say that's real. So if you put on both of these add-ons and then say you blink 20 meters, you'll go there significantly faster and it'll also take way less charge to get there because your max range is bigger. So it takes you not a full charge to get to get 20 meters. So basically, what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is basically it increases everything it buffs everything about blinks because it doesn't compensate everything else to you know match the fact that the distance is longer so it really kind of like it says that it only increases the range but it increases pretty much everything it's pretty nuts this is probably like the best add-on combination if you combine it with fragile wheeze which is the you know plus one blink add-on but i am not really into using multiple blinks i'm actually not a fan of that at all so this game we're just going to be using two range blinks so the reason why I want to throw out there too, the, the why I don't like a third blink. I mean, to be perfectly frank, even with two blinks, I think Nurse is completely insane and way too strong. But adding an extra blink onto Nurse basically just even further like makes her problematic in the sense that I think she is. Like she has she has such a spammable ability that is literally insane, has no counterplay whatsoever. And adding the third, fourth, fifth blink on top of that just removes even like the little bit of counterplay that she does have where like you can take advantage of a nurse being bad just gets completely taken away when you add in third fourth fifth like fifth blinks like how many times do you have to mess up before <laughs> before you get punished you know like I, I think if as a nurse player if you can't catch people with two blinks you really shouldn't be playing nurse you should either be learning to catch people with two blinks or you just shouldn't be playing nurse like having to rely on, on a third blink to catch people First off, I think if you're trying to learn nurse, I think will stunt your growth because you'll you'll get used to having to have that third blink, you know. So I think getting used to two will actually make you a better nurse than the wrong one. And 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 second off, I just think it's terrible for the balance of the game. I think if somehow you're able to juke a nurse's first two blinks, which is hard enough if the nurse is good, I think you deserve for her to go through the fatigue and not get a third blink. Like it's so insane. So that's never gonna be a thing. You'll never see me running three blink. Again, unless I'm going out of my way to be an asshole, which is probably not going to be a thing very often. All right, Grim Pantry. I am so glad that I'm nurse right now, to be honest with you. This is one of my least favorite maps in the game to play as any killer. Other than, I guess, nurse, because I guess it doesn't really matter when you're nurse. There's not really very mad, very many bad nurse maps, aside from maybe, like, Larry's. Um, hello, hi. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Are we, are you ready to have some F-U-N fun? I am ready. I am hype and ready. Let's do it, Megan. Come on. Let's have some fun. You have dead hard? All right. I just want to see. Didn't expect her to loop around the, the tree like that. I was trying to bait out her dead hard and not swing on it. All right. That dude got far away. Come here, buddy. Okay. The reason why I hate this map so much is because of this window right here. Literally this window right there. If a survivor has balanced landing and they know what they're doing, they can basically just hang out by this window. Like, vault it, run up top, fall back down. Hi, Jake. How's it going? And basically just loop that window, like, forever. And it's it's very sad. So, blink to where line of sight gets broken, and then you react. Here's the thing about Nurse. This is how you properly play Nurse. A lot of people make mistakes as Nurse. 
And the bad nurses are the reason that nurse is even bearable to play against. So I'm really reluctant to teach people how to play nurse. Because if more people get good at nurse, then the game ends up becoming really rough for survivors. But what are you going to do? So the big mistake that a lot of people make with nurse is that they'll try to predict people. People will go behind a wall and they'll try to predict them, which is a mistake. You don't want to you don't want to play predictionary with nurse. You want to play reactionary. The 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 strength with nurse. Sorry, I was talking and then this dude DC. Hi, right, how's it going? Um, the the thing that makes nurse so strong is the fact that are these guys killing themselves? Just stop. Just go play. Go play. Go play the match. Get on, get. Get on, come on, get. Do you have do you have DS or are you just killing yourself? You're just killing yourself. All right. Well, this is a this is basically a standard nurse game here as well. This this is basically standard nurse procedure here. Uh, uh, survivors realize that you're a, a a decent nurse player and then they all just decide to kill themselves because they know that there's no hope. It's pretty uh pretty standard stuff, got to say. Pretty much uh pretty much everyday stuff for nurse here. Anyway, I was trying to say something and I keep getting distracted. Okay, so if someone goes behind line of sight, right? Like if you're chasing someone and they go behind a wall, a lot of people will try to like blink to where they think they're going, right? Like they'll blink ahead of the wall and try to like guess, right? So say for instance, I'm chasing someone and then they go behind, um, hold on, let me find a wall. Like. Like, say if I'm chasing someone and, and they go to shack wall here and they turn the corner of shack. A lot of people will blink, like, over here to try to, like, catch them, right? The thing is, is, that, is that's the wrong play. With nurse, what you're able to do is you're able to blink straight to the corner right here. And then once you get to the corner, you can then use your second blink to react to whatever they do. Instead of trying to predict them, you blink here, you see what they do, and then you react. If they keep running, you, you, you can instantly charge your blink and then blink far enough to hit them. If they try to double back, then you're already on top of them and you can just swing and get a hit. The thing about Nurse is you have the power to be reactionary as opposed to prediction. Like, prediction is not reliable. Reaction is reliable. Prediction, not reliable. Reaction, reliable. And that's the power of Nurse. And if you're good with Nurse, you understand that. And that's what makes her so freaking insane to play against. Is that as a survivor, if the Nurse is actually good and plays reactionary as opposed to predictionary, there's freaking nothing you can do. You're just dead. Like these survivors I'm playing against right now, they're dead. I mean, they're obviously not putting forth much of a fight, but even if they were putting forth a fight, they're freaking dead, dude. Are you in this locker? They're freaking dead, dude. They're D-E-D -E dead. They are deader than shit. D-E-D -E dead. Maybe this last guy will get hatched or something. I don't know. But this is basically how nurse games go. It looks like you're gonna not get hatched. It looks like you're gonna be chilling right here. Gotcha. Well, hey, man, GG. We didn't even get a chance to try them all ears. <laughs> like, we didn't even get a chance to try it at all. All right, well, that was pretty underwhelming. That was, uh, yeah. Nurse. Yeah. Nurse. Awesome. Okay, so normally I only do two videos per YouTube video, but like just for shits and giggles because we're talking about Nurse and how strong she is. And I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me talk about it, but I mean, hey, that's what this video is kind of about. So I think for this last game, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take off all my perks. I'm just going to go bare naked into the match. Now, usually with Nurse, I just run tracking perks. I don't think you need game slowdown because if you're good at Nurse, you'll slow down the game yourself by just killing everybody all the time. You don't really need like chase perks because you literally teleport through walls and there's really no need to bother with palace or windows or anything so who needs chase perks the tracking perks like finding and tracking perks is really all you need as nurse because like the main counterplay to her is stealth so we're just gonna take off all these perks and just see how we do completely bare naked so let's see how that goes okay i lied we're not gonna be completely bare naked i'm still gonna put on a cake because i love blood points okay all right all right almost naked we're, we're gonna be naked with a cake okay hell yeah Dude, speaking of suffocation pit, I'm telling you, what is going on? There's some weird stuff going on here where, like, the game just knows. Oh, my lord. Playing without Shadowborn. Okay, this is the weirdest part of playing with no perks, I'm going to be honest, is playing without Shadowborn. I don't care anything about playing without Whispers or Barbecue and Chili or anything. Playing without Shadowborn is weird, man. 
after running Shadowborn for so long, playing without it is really odd. So I might play this match kind of bad. This might go not the greatest because of my lack of Shadowborn. We'll see. It definitely is a perk that like once you start playing with it, it's really hard to play without it. Like that, wait, it feels like I have less range. It's so odd. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to. I'm going to be playing pretty badly for a minute until I can get used to it. But that's okay. She's around this rock. It's very strange. I'm going to be honest with you. It's very strange. Playing with Shadowborn for like the last like two or three years on Nurse. I don't think I've... I I've, I've, can probably count on one hand how many games I've played on Nurse without Shadowborn. In like my entire like DVD career. Oh my god. This guy's AFK. I'm going to let him go. I wanted this to be like an actual semi-accurate representation of how like a nurse game would go per completely perkless at rank one. Perkless and addleness. And this dude's freaking AFK, man. That's not a very good representation. All right, the unhook happened. I'm, I'm just going to let him go. Hopefully he'll come back. Honestly, if he keeps blowing up more, I might have to, I might have to get him. I might have to kill him. That's going to get really annoying. That's going to get super annoying. Man. Neo, wake up. Neo, wake the hell up. How do I get these crows to go away? Is picking up and like if I hook her, does it make the crows go away? Will you shut up if I hook you? Like maybe by, oh, I think they're gone. Oh, I could have just left her on the ground. I could have just left her on the ground. The crows were gone. They were like totally gone. All right, so we found this here, Fang. We are again blinking super slow. Everything feels strange. The lack of Shadowborn is upon us. Where did she go? What? The scratch marks kind of just came out here and then like randomly ended. What the hell? Where did she go? I am actually so confused. I'm actually so lost. Huh, weird. All right, anyway, we're going to go see what's going on over here. We got a Megan here. We found the Megan. Come here, Meg. Up you go. Honestly, the hardest part about playing this perkless, like, I mean, obviously the hardest part, but it's going to be finding people because I, I ran a bunch of perks to help me find people. That was like my whole ordeal was basically if I could find them, it's super easy to down them because I'm nurse. But now with the with, with with all my tracking perks gone, that guy killed himself. Nice. With all my tracking perks gone, I had to rely on, you know, game sense. I thought she would come back, but she kind of did come back. She just kind of went around the long way. Okay, so blink to the wall. Go forward. It's still pretty much the same thing, you know. Even without Shadowborn, it's still pretty much the same thing. It's still pretty easy. You just you just use your first blink. To get some distance on him and then your second blink to be precise and bam 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 win 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 that guy killed himself on hook by the way is that guy still afk there's no way come on man come back who queues up for dvd and then just like leaves and like, what's he doing all right whoever popped this gen is uh i gotta go i gotta go down him or something so he shuts up otherwise there's gonna be these explosions all game God damn it, man. Yo. Oh, he's back. He's back. I'm going to give him a chance to like... I'm going to give him a chance to like get together. Get it together, buddy. I'm going to go see if I can find this other guy again. I'm, I'm not really... I'm trying to stay away from the hook. I don't want to like camp this dude. I don't want to like really even pressure it. I want him to be able to get the unhook if they can. I know they kind of had like a downfall of this dude being AFK at the start. I've kind of been running around and doing nothing for a minute. This guy got far. Oh, this is the guy who got unhooked. That's really unfortunate. I actually didn't want to chase this guy. I wanted to chase the full health guy, but I didn't really know who I was chasing. I just saw scratch marks, so I followed him. And now she's dead. Yikes. She might have decided to strike. She could DS me. She definitely could DS me. There it is. Nice. Good. Kind of glad that happened, honestly. They kind of need that. I kind of deserve it, and they kind of needed it. I could have hit her, but I couldn't even see her. Dude, no Shadowborn makes this so hard. 
So again, I'm gonna blink there. I'm gonna react to what she does. That was just no Shadowborn. I, I, I guarantee you with Shadowborn, I'd be able to judge this so much better. But the, the lack of Shadowborn makes it so that I can't really judge my blinks. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. This is actually pretty entertaining to play this without Shadowborn because everything, like, it might not seem like much, man. But when you play with Shadowborn, like, all the time and then you take it off, everything, like, the amount of distance that a survivor is, like, away from you is, like, different because your FOV is different. It's really wild, honestly. It's really strange. There are scratch marks all over that freaking building, man. Oh, he's out here. Oh, he's over here. Hey, bud. Huh? What? Oh my god, he went over here? What a psycho, dude. He has iron will and he just ran over to this freaking wall and crouched. That's not the play, buddy. That's not the play at all. I thought he was gonna run from me, you know, like a like a like a smart survivor would do. But instead he just crouched in a corner. That ain't smart. That ain't the play at all. Iron will best perk in the game, by the way. Don't let anyone lie to you. Best perk in the freaking game, my dudes. Okay, they healed under hooks or they're over here. I want thought face. That's who I want. Not you, Fang. I've chased you all game. I'm feeling really bad for you. She is dead on hook, so it would kind of make sense to kill her. But I'm going to be honest. I feel bad for her. There she is. There's my thought face. There she is. Hey, girl. Hi. How you doing? Gotta get her before balance landing kicks in. We probably could slug here and then go look for the last dude, but I'm not even going to bother. We have plenty of uh, of map pressure. There's a dude dead. No one's going to be able to do gens right now. We're basically good. There's so much map pressure. Nothing's going on. We got our fourth stack of barbecue, hypothetically, if we had barbecue. Good blink, Tofu. Good job. Got a lot of distance with that one. Nice, nice, nice. High mobility killer, by the way. Hell yeah, dude. All right. It doesn't seem like they healed under hook because they're still not healed. The unhook was right there. So where did they go? There's blood here. He's here. Awkward. Iron Will, best perk in the game, by the way. Just gonna throw it out there. Iron Will, so good. It's not like blood like exists or anything. You know what I mean? It's not like there's such thing as blood. Iron Will is just so crazy, dude. It's so crazy. Real talk, Iron Will is one of the most overrated perks in the game. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come out and say it, chat. Iron Will, one of the most overrated perks in the game. Everyone, everyone, everyone talks about how amazing Iron Will is and how it saves everyone's lives all the time. And don't get me wrong, it's not a bad perk. I, don't, I by no means think it's a bad perk. It is a good perk. But people like swear by that perk. People will like swear up and down by that perk, but it's saying it's like one of the strongest in the game and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's not that good, you know? It's good, don't get me wrong. It's just not that good. It's like, you know, it's pretty aight. There's definitely situations where, like, like, for instance, right there, if she didn't have Iron Will, I definitely would have heard, I would definitely would have heard her crying, and I would have got her regardless. But either way, she got caught anyway, so did Iron Will really do anything for her? No, not really. It's just, I don't know, man. I feel like against any killer that knows to look for blood, Iron Will just doesn't really do much, man. It's just kind of pointless. All right, this last dude might get hatched, but honestly, that's okay. I really don't even mind. Like, with, with the way that the dude was AFK at the start, and then the one dude, like, killed himself on hook, this game went pretty poorly. Oh, he healed somewhere. He's obviously not in a locker because he healed somewhere. Like, this, this is a pretty unfortunate game for the survivors. Straight up. Like, it was very unlucky. And, like, I could have slugged for the 4K here if I was really, if I was really horny for it, but I, I don't really care that much. If this dude gets out, he gets out. It's whatever. I feel like the point has been proven. That, like, this killer is just nuts. He's just absolutely nuts. I want you guys to keep in mind, too, again. I want you guys to keep in mind that with this video, I'm not even a nurse main. I'm not even a nurse player. I play her, like, aside from, like, these three games, I've probably played her, like, three times in the past, like, month. Honestly. And, like, the fact that the games still go this way is insane. And I don't know. I, I just it's 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 the reason why I don't play her. I could just play nurse all the time, you know, and become a nurse main, and then every game would just be a 4K instantly, and it would be absurd. But like, <laughs> it's just it's just not fun. It's just not fun, you know. All right, guys, that's the end of my 
nurse social experiment thing. I don't I don't even know what this was. I don't even know why I did this. I just was trying to think of what I wanted to play today for a video and I couldn't think of anything and I was like, you know what? Let's just show everyone why nurse sucks and why I'm not playing her. So there you go. This was my video of nurse is broken. I'm not even the best nurse player in the world and even she's broken in my hands. Therefore, I'm not going to play her because I like a challenge video, okay? I don't think that's quite as catchy of a title as whatever I'm probably going to have whenever I upload this. But know that in the, my heart of hearts, that was what I wanted to title this video, okay? Thank you guys all for watching. Remember, subscribe, like the, like the video, comment on it. Let me know what you guys want to see. For real, let me know what you guys want to see. I know, I know everyone is always like... Oh, like, comment, and subscribe all the time because that's just YouTubers beg for that all the time. But, like, legitimately comment and let me know what you guys want to see. I'm really curious. I uploaded a Billy video yesterday, or not, not yesterday, but a few days ago, where I was just, like, messing around and going for curves. And people seem to really like it. And if you guys really want to see just nonstop Billy, I love Billy. If you guys want to see Billy, I can just play Billy all day, every day. And I'm cool with that. But I'm also down to try their stuff. If you guys have other ideas or things that you want to see me try, let me know. And I'm down to give them a go. Just I just need to know what you guys want to watch. Because uh, I'm down to try some things. I'm just not really sure what to do. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Fudo. And I am out of here. Catch you guys on the flip floppity flippity flop. Take care. I'm out. See you later. See ya. Take care. See ya.